Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, look at that. We're still here at the truck stop. Well, we're getting ready to go over there uh, to my pickup place and see if they'll load me today. So let's go over there and find out. <laughs> officially got my load on ladies and gentlemen now we're making our way back towards Windsor Ontario yeah that's the plan right so yeah we gotta make one pit stop here in a little bit because I uh, remember the other day I said I only wanted to feel a little bit in Minnesota so that way I could uh, feel up over here in uh, Missouri so that's what we're going to be doing here. Probably in about half an hour or so, we'll probably go uh, stop somewhere at a pilot or something like that, and then uh, we'll fuel her up all the way. We're pretty light now. We're only got 25,000 pounds in the box, so uh, we can afford to fuel her all the way up. And that should bring us back to Canada anyway, so. We'll be kind of curious to see on where they're going to be sending us from there, but uh, as of right now, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of curious what kind of loads they got out of winter on a Friday, so today is already Thursday, so I'm going to have to see. I actually wouldn't mind going south from there, get me some pretty decent miles and you know, that would be kind of nice. I mean, it will be the 26th there, so I got uh, one, two, three, four, five more days before the end of the month, and we got till the third till we can actually hand in our miles. So I actually got me a full week actually before I have to hand in my paperwork, so to get paid on the next payday. So I actually could go south and get me some good miles and could possibly still be back before the third and then the paperwork right okay we got lucky here last night the storm we had a really big lightning storm going up uh, going on further north and luckily it uh, kind of went around us we got a little bit of a wind and rain but nothing nothing major I didn't even really hear any thundering too much so the lightning and all that was further north but yeah here we are hammer down towards Windsor that's 709 miles to go yet so we won't quite make it there today but hey tomorrow might be a good chance we'll be there unless something goes wrong right make it as far as we can tonight and then call it a day we'll probably be up there in Michigan somewhere that's kind of what I'm thinking but then again you would never know you never know we have just taken our exit ramp here to uh, get off the interstate and here we are we're now off the interstate we're now on uh, US 54. We're supposed to follow this all the way along up to uh, I 72. And then uh, we're supposed to take that up to I 55. Go north on there until we get up to Chicago there by I 80. Take that east up to 94 and then 94 to Detroit. Yes, indeed. It is another very, very warm day out here, that's for sure. Very humid. I heard they got a few uh, tornado type touchdowns there uh, yesterday afternoon in Indianapolis and some of them areas up there in Ohio and stuff like that. So, yeah, that'll probably do it with weather like this, you know, real humid and hot. Stuff like that, that will probably cause a tornado touchdown or a thaw, some kind.
kind of thunderstorm, that's for sure. Look at that, we got a smoke of bear sitting there on the shoulder. He's on the other side, but he's right there where he can drive right through, so he can come after us if he wants, right? But he's staying right there. I mean, I'm only doing 60 mile an hour, like my usual speed limit. I got my cruise set at 60, like always, unless the speed limit is lower. And the speed limit up here is 70, so uh, I don't think he should bother me too much. I would sure hope not. <laughs> but yeah, we still have us, uh, 622 miles to go. So uh, we're going to be uh, working at it here the next couple of hours. We're going to be working a bit harder on it. Hopefully we can get down there tomorrow by noon. Or just after lunch or something like that. Then we'll see what we will do from there. I know I've been saying that quite a few times already in the last few days, so maybe we've got to find something different to talk about, right? Make it more entertaining for you guys. That's my goal anyways, entertain you guys, right? All right, guys, here we go over a very, very narrow, narrow bridge. Look at that. We're going into Illinois. I bet you two trucks would have a hard time meeting up in here, that's for sure. It actually said on the sign there that the oversized units are supposed to pull over ahead. And I guess what they have to do is, I don't know, maybe get an escort or something like that to go across this bridge. But this is a very, very narrow bridge. But yeah, we're just entering Illinois right now. There we go. We met a truck there, but that was like inches between our mirrors cross the border <laughs> entering illinois there you heard it entering illinois huh? i don't remember ever being on this part of the highway but hey i thought this was pretty interesting to show you guys so here we are there's actually a boat there towards the left there in the river i guess he's fishing or something they got a big shipyard over here looks like here to the left Look at that. They got some pretty nice big ships in there too. Wow, they must have a pretty big lake up here because uh, there are some nice big boats up there and then some of them docks up there. But anyways, we're in Illinois now. So welcome to Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. She wanted to feel those big truck wheels rolling underneath her feet. Her boss was a jerk, and off his work just wasn't her cup of tea. She climbed out of that hole ten years ago to follow her lifelong dream. And learn to drive, now she feels the pride every time that diesel screams. She traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. nights under truck stop lights serving that driver man but filling their cups wasn't enough she had a bigger plan she cashed in her tips and bought a big rig and cut that apron loose and now she's the one getting waited on in that driver's only booth she traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast she ain't no less they one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. So if you see her rolling down the road, pulling that heavy load, show her respect and courtesy. Cause man, that girl's been out there proving She can keep America moving The 
just as good as you and me. She traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. Yeah, she'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. Just made ourselves a little bit of a pit stop here at a rest area. We parked right over there. Not too many trucks in here yet, but looks like it's pretty dark over there, so we might be getting some rain here in a little bit. But it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's been really humid and hot. Figured I would show you guys a little bit of the rest area up here. Some beautiful, nice green trees up here. Got a little bit of a sitting area right there. That's where we got the rest here. Oh wow, look at that. You even got a playground over there where you can actually take your kids and uh, you can sit over there over the little deck there and you can go have your kids play over there and I guess take the energy away from you or uh, kids a little bit when they're, you know, when you're going on a little trip or something like that, you know. And then uh, you can get back on the road and uh, they don't have as much energy. Maybe they're sleeping, right? Anyways, we're going to go in here, use the restroom, and then we'll be back. Our day has officially come to an end. Yeah, we are now just south of Chicago. I was going to go through Chicago, but I decided, you know what? I'm just going to stay right here. It's a pretty big Petro truck stop right here. It's a brand new one. Pretty nice place here, actually. So, uh... I said, you know what, let's just stay in here and uh, call it a day. We'll get on uh, out of here tomorrow early in the morning. That's kind of what I decided on doing, but uh, yeah. So we went inside and had us a bite to eat. Now we're back in the truck, getting ready to finish our day. Render the videos for you guys. And then that way when uh, we get back into Canada tomorrow, you guys uh, will know I'll be uploading that because I have internet in Canada with my Wi-Fi router system so uh, yeah then we'll uh, have something to watch right or you guys will have something to watch but uh, hopefully it was an entertaining day for you guys if it was we appreciate you guys uh-huh give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning this has been Trucker Rudy signing out <laughs>